This is a Gibson model EB electric bass. EB was a pretty simplistic name. E is electric, B is bass. So it's the electric bass. And at the time this model came out in 53, it was the electric bass in the Gibson line. It was the one and only. It may look a bit like a Hofner bass so far as the violin body shape, but this came out well before Hofner did theirs. Theirs was probably influenced by this. Theirs was hollow. This is solid. It has painted on imitation F holes. It has painted on imitation edge trim, purfling like an upright bass or a violin. Same on the back for the painted on. This has belt buckle wear. They came with interchangeable two end pins that would screw in. The other one being an extension telescoping one so you could play it like an upright bass, but fretted. But this is set up as most were to be played with a strap the way we commonly think of as an electric bass. It has banjo style Cluson tuners, which are original. And this particular one has had the pick guard removed, but it did have a single ply brown plastic guard. It's a mahogany neck and body with a walnut stained finish. A big single coil pickup in the neck position, Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. And historically, an important instrument since it was Gibson's first electric bass. Not quite as early as the Fender Precision Bass. Fender's Precision Bass came out in 1951. On the other hand, Fender can't claim that they made the first solid body electric fretted bass since Audiovox in Seattle had been making a few electric fretted solid body basses starting in the 1930s. But unlike the Audiovox bass, which existed but didn't sell in quantity and was not commercially successful and was not used by any important artists, the Fender Precision Bass of 1951 was an instantaneous success which truly changed the industry. This Gibson bass, which first appeared in 1953 and was made throughout the 50s, was also commercially successful, but certainly did not introduce the concept of electric bass to the world the way the precision bass did. But it's still a plenty good bass. This is a 30-inch scale. Fender's bass was a 34-inch scale. The Fender bass had more punch this is a more muddy sound, but there are those who like this scale and this sound, so that's a matter of personal preference. But when it comes down to historic importance, this is certainly an important electric bass. This again is a 1956 EB, but the model was first introduced in 53.